growing number of evangelicals believe it's time to take America back for Christ and starting with children. Jesus Camp is a documentary that's being sold as the first ever inside look at a religious summer camp in North Dakota where kids are being trained to become an active part of this country's spiritual and political future. Now, we're going to be talking to two of the people who are featured in this film in just a minute. But first, take a look at some scenes that many Christians and non-believers are finding offensive. Kids, you've got to change things. Boys and girls can change the world? Absolutely. I allegiance to the Christian flag. There are two kinds of people in the world. People who love Jesus and people who don't. Speak the word of the Lord. should we be putting our focus? I'll tell you where our enemies are putting it. They're putting it on the kids. How long have you been a Christian? At five, I got saved. Yeah? Because I just wanted more of life. You go into Palestine and they're taking their kids to camps like we take our kids to Bible camps and they're putting hand grenades in their hands. <laughs> There's an excitement, yet there's a peace with it all, too. It's really cool. I really feel that we're a key generation to Jesus coming back. And we are a generation that needs to rise up and run with that baton. Yeah. Those who would give up their lives for Jesus. Be God's army. Not enough! You are the beginnings of a movement. Raise up righteous judges! There's a new church like this every two days in America. 25% of the American population, that's about 80 million people. If the evangelicals vote, they determine the election. They've taken over the White House, Congress, the judiciary for a generation. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This means war! This means war! Let's bring in Becky Fisher and all. She's a children's pastor and the director of Kids Ministry International and Mike Papantonio. Joel. He's attorney and co-host of Ring of Fire on Air America and also my former law partner. Uh, Mike Papantonio, let me start with you. Do you have any problem with uh, the children that go to these type of camps? I, I don't have a problem with the children. The, the children are, you know, you can't help but really, really appreciate the I know, children. but I mean, people look at the children, they think they're being brainwashed. Well, there are many people that could look at that film and I think what they would say is there's really a heavy hand that's used in the way that the interaction takes place with these children. There's guilt that's used, uh, there's shame, there's this sense of what do you, really, what do you mean by that? really raw manipulative uh, emotion. Well, I mean, if you take a look, how does a five-year-old, how, how, how do we convince a five-year-old that they've sinned at all? Let's take another clip. Uh, look at a clip from Jesus Camp. mind and he just wants to take you and he just wants to love on you and he has special plans for you in your life and he just wants you to be able to follow him with your whole heart and thank you you're welcome appreciate it welcome I mean, obviously, a lot of people would look at that scene and they would be concerned, saying, my gosh, they're sending little kids up there after brainwashing them. Well, who, who just sent that little girl? As far as I can tell on that clip, she walked up all, all on her own volition. That was her free choice. Her father and other set her up. Nobody else in that room set her up. That's something she wanted to do. Now, if you're going to tie that in with brainwashing, well, that takes us in a whole different direction. When people uh, see Jesus Camp, what they're doing is that it was through the lens of secular media people who had never seen anything like this before the the con the camp and conference that they just happened to come to it just happened to be that they came at a time when we were discussing some things that were obviously political in, in nature Mike Papantonio what's so wrong with Jesus camp well, I don't think anything. I, the, the camp is not as bothersome to most people. Uh, is is just the the idea that there is a new movement that's taking place. And I think this 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 film portrays the, maybe the dangers of that movement. I think it's dangerous for religion 
to, to, to uh, join up with politics in any kind of setting. Because what ends up happening, Joe, is the successes and the failures of politics are always taking place. There's always rising and it's always falling. And when religion attaches itself to that, unfortunately, religion rises and falls with those politics. You know what? The whole political thing is like, I don't want to get drug into this. Uh, they happen to bring some things up in the film that uh, obviously uh, were political in nature. I mean, people are all so up in arms, the, the fact that we trained children to pray over George Bush. I have a real issue with that. Tell me, what is the harm in our society if we teach a child to pray for the leaders of our government? Becky Fisher, Mike Papantonio, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. She also said that they had prayed for, uh, for a just legal system, and two weeks later, Sandra Day O'Connor retired from the bench and took that as a sign that maybe these kids' prayers were being heard. That raises many, many issues that uh, we'll talk about some other time. Now,